Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We've got you covered. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action for September 25th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So we're getting down to the very end of the regular season. There's still playoff positions up in the air, so let's get started. There are four games we want to take a look at. And we'll scroll down through here. The first one is the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Braves are battling the Mets for top spot in the NL East, while the Phillies are just looking to hold on for a playoff position. The Phillies are dead up at the moment. They are 1-5 over their last six, while the Braves are burning hot down. They are 5-1 over their last six. Charlie Morton is scheduled to pitch for the Braves versus Kyle Gibson for the Phillies. If you take a look at the pitching matchup, Morton is 9 and 6 with a 4.09 ERA, but he is just 5.38 ERA on the road, and he is minus $168. Gibson is 10 and 7 with a 4.71 ERA and plus $226, and he has a decent home ERA of 4.35, which is 43rd in the top 100. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Phillies are all the way down at the bottom because of their recent skid at 0. All the Braves are at plus 27. The score predictor has the Phillies by a 6-5 margin with 46% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the over-under, the teams have been trending under the line recently. Um, the Braves in the last three and the Phillies in their last game. If you look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator, how consistent are the two teams? Well, Atlanta 52, very consistent with regard to favorite underdog status. The Phillies, more consistent than they had been at plus 18, but a lot less so than the Braves. In the end, I'm winning towards the Phillies in a home win in a game going under the line. Houston and Baltimore, Toronto and Tampa Bay. You see, there's a whole lot of games. I'm just picking out the ones I feel are the most important for this 25th of September. And there's four from total, so we have to just keep going. There we go. Cleveland Guardians and the Texas Rangers. Cleveland comes in burning hot. They're looking up to wrap up the playoff position. While the Rangers are just pretty much playing out the string, they are fourth in the AL West. Cleveland right now comes in burning hot versus ice cold up. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see Cleveland is at plus 23. While Texas dipped from plus 21 down to 1, and they have climbed up to plus plus more over the last couple of days. The score predictor has Cleveland by a large 7 to 1 margin with a fairly good level of confidence and prediction of 62%. If you look at the pitching matchup, it's Aaron Savale for um, Cleveland versus Cole Reagans for the Rangers. Savale is 2 and 6 with a 5.29 ERA and has been a good bet at plus $67, but his away ERA is just 6.13. Yeah. Reagans is 0-2 with a 5.40 ERA and is plus 3 on the pitcher profit oscillator. And we already took a look at the power ranking indicator, so I'm not sure why I went back to that. Um, we're going to look now at the volatility oscillator. You see that Cleveland has been a lot more consistent at plus 21 compared to plus 9 for Texas. This means they're more consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I feel like this is all Cleveland in the game going over the line. The next game we want to look at as we head down through here is the New York Mets and the Oakland A's. The Mets are looking to wrap up an NL East title, but they are battling the Braves in that regard. So every game is important for them. They come in burning hot down against the A's who are burning hot. Max Scherzer is scheduled to pitch. For the Mets, you can see he is 10 and 4 with a 2.15 ERA and is a solid bet at plus $61. And he has a good road ERA at 2.61. If you take a look at the score predicted, you see that the Mets are predicted to win by a 4 to 2 score with about 48% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows all Mets here at plus 29. They've been up at the top. While Oakland's been up and down, they have increased from plus 6 up to plus 18 over the last day. You see that uh, they have won three out of the last four, and they are three and three over the last six. Well, the Mets are coming off of a loss, but they are five and one over their last six games. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you can see that both teams have been very consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status at 33 to 30. 
I don't see how Oakland really come away with the win on this one. The Mets have a lot more to play for. Oakland's just playing out the string. Look for the Mets to win this one in a game going under the line. The last game we want to look at is the San, uh, the St. Louis Cardinals, excuse me, versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. This is the game of the day. I mean, both teams are in the top part of their division. This could be a playoff preview. Uh, the Cardinals come in average down. They have lost their last three and are three and three over their last six. And actually, they've been shut out in their last two. So the bats have been ice cold. Uh, the Dodgers are coming in average, and they have also lost their last two. And they are four and two over their last six. The pitching matchup, uh, at least on the Cardinals side, it's Adam Wainwright. Uh, the Dodgers have not yet named their starter. Wainwright comes in 11 and 10 with a 3.38 ERA. And plus 138, uh, 139, excuse me, on the pitcher profit oscillator. But his uh, away ERA is not great, 4.44. On the power ranking indicator, you see both teams on the downward trend here. But the Dodgers are plus 20 compared to plus 7 for the Cardinals. The score predictor has the Dodgers by a 5-4 to four margin with 58% level of confidence in the prediction. The stability factor, again, you can see that both teams are very consistently performing. Dodgers are plus 59. I mean, that may be the tops in the league. I haven't checked, but that's the highest I have seen lately. And uh, the Cardinals are at plus 38. In the end, I like the Dodgers with this one in a game going under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games we want to look at for Major League Baseball for September 25th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.